Hello everyone. Um, just to give you like a brief little introduction, my name is Megan um, and I work in the marketing department at Tempo. So I'm just going to give you a bit of an insight today. We're going to take you through a journey on kind of the current situation that we're in right now, what the kind of job market's looking like. Um, we've got some great advice from, from Harry Manage that we spoke to quite recently for you guys on how you can really help your like your application, your job hunt and really stand out from the crowd. Um, and then we're also going to lead you through kind of like why you should consider going into a career in tech right now um, and how Tempo can actually help you, can help connect you to these job opportunities. Um, so, yeah, so kind of a bit of a brief background into us. Uh, so we're kind of a jobs marketplace. So we essentially, you come on, you create a profile um, and then we will direct your direct line to exciting jobs at the UK's fastest growing startups. And we use your profile and we use machine learning to use the details from your profile to connect you to those opportunities that are relevant to you according to what you've put in there. So let's just think about this year. It's been a bit of a, it's been a bit of a tough year to be honest for everyone. Um, everything's gone thrown completely up into the air like we're living in an unprecedented era where we have to wear masks to the shops like we're having to use hand sanitizer and the job market's just been completely turned on its head so I mean let's be honest we all remember back to when we were able to actually all hang out into huge groups like you guys could all go to big lectures like live sports games it was just a completely different time at the beginning of this year um, I mean, you always used to be able to, like you say, like on campus, um, whereas now we are literally operating in a pretty much entirely virtual world, which means we've had to really adapt in everything that we do, like how people learn, how people work. Um, it's all been completely shifted into what we call now like a new normal. Um, so yeah, if you like, we're kind of looking at like the kind of general picture right now. 40% um, of students are actually worried that they won't be able to land a grad job, grad job at the moment. Um, and so like across the UK, a quarter of businesses have reduced the number of graduates that they hire just to kind of like adapt to the times right now. Um, and alongside that, short term internships and placements have been reduced by almost a third. Um, but there is actually a light at the end of the tunnel as a third of these, a third of businesses plan to actually still continue with their recruitment. And there's a large industry at the moment that a lot of the companies have actually grown is the tech industry. Um, and we'll move on to that a little bit more as to why and kind of like how they have and why that should be like a, an option for you guys when looking to go into kickstarting your career. But we're now gonna turn to the hiring managers that we recently spoke to and the kind of advice that they gave us um, on how you can get a head start on the job hunt. So obviously we spoke to these, we spoke to Hakon Hunge from CapDesk, the CCO, Marie Krebs, the People Operations Manager at Learnably, and Richard Hutchinson, the Recruitment Delivery Lead um, at City Fiber. And all of them kind of spoke about how they've adapted to this time, how they adapted their hiring process. And then we, they gave five tips on what you guys can do during your job hunt. Uh, so the effect of the pandemic on the hiring process. So firstly, it's become, like we say, like entirely virtual. Interviews are conducted virtually, applications, obviously you send them in. Um, when, you, when you onboard, that's all virtual. Like everything is now done through a screen, which obviously makes it a lot more difficult for them to gauge whether the candidate's the right fit. So what they said they've done, they put in a lot of additional screening questions um, at the beginning of the application process, which has helped them determine whether the, whether the candidates are the right fit for them right at the beginning. So like really look as so I reckon really look into the companies um, and what they've also started bringing in a lot is the use of video. It was already starting to boom before coronavirus, but obviously video is now really taken off. Um, and they said they use video to screen a lot of the candidates to kind of get through all the applications that they're getting at the moment. So I think really upping your video game would be a great way to really get yourself to get an extra edge on other candidates. So going into the kind of five top tips that they gave was number one, stand out from the crowd. I mean, when you're coming up against thousands of different applica applications, thousands of different candidates, all of them probably with very similar experience to what you've got, it's really important that you stand out for, you can stand out from the crowd and use your own personal attributes and skills to give yourself that competitive edge. So like we said earlier, like the use of video is a great way to do that. It's how you can really sell yourself, um, how you can really get your, let your personality shine through um, and really engage through the screen. I hope they can actually pick up on whether they think you'd be a right cultural fit for them. Another one is to engage with hiring managers when you've submitted an application. I mean, they're gonna get thousands through. If you actually went out of your way to reach out to them and be like, hey, like super interested in your company, really passionate about what you guys do, I've sent in an application. Your name's gonna stand out when they see your CV or your application come through and they're gonna really think that you really want that role. 
Another thing is to show a unique quality that you can bring to the table. So like a side hustle, um, any kind of like passions that you've got. Um, sorry, I'm trying to admit people as they come in. Um, any side hustles, hustles that you've got. Uh, sorry. Um, so like if you've got, if you've got any like hobbies that you do or you've learned any extra courses, um, then a great way to, to do that is to really highlight those. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, it's another thing as well, to sharpen up your application. So you really wanna tailor your CV um, to the job, like pulling out like skills and experiences that you've got. You don't wanna just send out loads of different, uh, loads of different applications to people. Um, you really wanna tailor it to that specific job that you're doing and make it seem like you've got the specific skills that they need. Um, another one is to use buzzwords. Um, so hiring managers obviously put a job description out there for a reason. So you want to use the buzzwords in those in that job description to then relate it to your skills and show that you've really read the job description um, as well. Um, and then also you want to learn new skills from courses. So at the moment you come from university, let's be honest, you probably got like your degree, maybe a bit of experience, but you haven't really had that much chance or that much experience in the working world. So you want to make sure that you highlight the courses that are relevant that you've done. Maybe go on, there's loads of online courses at the moment, loads of different hiring platforms. I mean, online learning tools that you can use. So you highlight those, but make sure it's relevant to the job. Like for example, if you're a marketer banging on about all this ski, ski experience and skills that you've got, isn't going to help. So you wanna make it relevant to the role. Another one is to be proactive in your job search. So obviously right now you really need to treat it like a full-time job. Um, why is it not clicking? You wanna treat it like a full-time job. So spend all those hours like really getting involved on social platforms such as like LinkedIn. You can engage in conversations with people in the right industry that you're looking to go into. You can share posts like post articles and stuff, really being able to build your network networks and connections by reaching out to people. Another thing that you can do is also connect with people and ask for advice. So actually Hakon mentioned that she, he had someone that was looking to move into the tech industry, but didn't have that much experience in tech. She was actually had a lot of experience was in retail. So she reached out to him and asked like, what can she do? Like, how can she like, what do you do her application to help her stand out? And he was able to give her advice on that. And even though it wasn't actively asking for a job, she built that connection that if down the line, that could turn into an opportunity. Uh, you should also always ask for feedback. I know you like employers should give that to you themselves, but when, they, when they're going through thousands of different applications, it can often just fall to the wayside of, on their list things to, to do. So by asking for feedback, you're showing that you're interested in the role, but also that you can develop and improve for next time because each time that you do something, it's just learning. And the next time you go in, you'll be even better. You want to also ask the right questions. So it's important for you to show that you're interested in the company and also show, ask intelligent questions, not just ones that are a bit irrelevant. One of the ones that you can do is like ask why it's a great place to work. As as much as it's important that they think you're a right fit, you also want to be sure that the company is right fit for you. And by asking those questions, you show that. Another thing you can do is ask about their onboarding process. It's a really great way to show how they deal with like people, how much they value people, how much like learning and development they put into their people, especially with right now. It shows you how they've approached this difficult situation and therefore whether it's like a company that you feel that you could work for. Um, they also recommended when you're asking questions, bring in the we and not just the I. You know, they want to feel like you will want to be part of their journey and a part of the company. And it's about what you can contribute to the team and not just what you can get out of the role. And their last point was take an alternative career route. I mean, at the moment, like a lot of people still go for like grad schemes, like the big companies are kind of the typical way to apply for jobs. But there's a whole different world out there, which obviously I'm going to move on to in a bit where there's different routes into work and by broadening your horizons into how you approach the job applications, you will actually be giving yourself a better chance of landing a job. Um, so yeah, Richard actually said, with so many people looking for work right now, a great way to give yourself the best chance of landing a job is to broaden your horizons. So moving on to that, have you ever considered a career in tech? So this is the industry where at the moment it's just the best industry during coronavirus. According to a COVID-19 report, it's actually the tech sector um, that's been the most positively impacted since coronavirus because it's actually them that have been enable, enabling remote working. 
So any kind of like companies that have used our uh, got to tech savvy tools to basically help us continue with our day to day lives as much as possible. They're the companies that are growing and they're the companies that are still hiring and therefore they're kind of your golden ticket into finding work out of university. So as you can see, you look at these names that like you've got Uber, you've got Monzo, you've got Bulb, you probably recognize some of these names. These like Uber, for example, they started out once upon a time as just a small startup, a couple of entrepreneurs sat around a desk thinking of an idea. And there's thousands more just like them that are doing the exact same thing. And this is the chance for you to really get in and join a company that's looking to disrupt their industry um, and start to do some build something really great. And you could come in near the bottom and help build that with them. So let's have actually have a look at the stats themselves when it comes to tech industry and the startups. UK tech employment has grown by 40% in the last two years. Um, so actually it has a place to go into even before coronavirus was great. Uh, UK is Europe's number one top, sc top scaling tech nation and 24% of startups are tech based. So even just looking at the figures, this is a great, this is a great place for you to start your career. But aside from the fact that they're growing, why actually are startups such a great place to work? So firstly, you can grow with the company. I mean, let's be honest, you're coming out of university, you probably don't have that much experience, you're going to be coming in at the bottom of the ladder. But when looking at startups, they too are just starting out, they're young, they're learning, they're growing, they're changing as they go along. And by joining with them, you'll actually be able to grow and develop with them. And you'll actually feel yourself growing and you can see the impact that you're having. One candidate actually, Tia, she just left university and she started at a startup called Nextdoor. Um, she came in as like a temporary role and then as the company started to grow she grew with them and they thought she was great and they made her neighbor team lead neighbor operations team lead and she's now actually UK operations lead and that's all within the space of I think it's like a, in the space of a year which is actually mental which meant that she was able to really develop with the company um, and she was there from right from the, right near the beginning so much more progression that you get if you went straight in at the bottom of someone like PwC. Other thing is you can make a real impact. Um, so let's be honest, like when you come in at some of those big, big corporates, you're a cog in the machine. Like a lot of the work that you do doesn't really, doesn't often make that much difference as there's just so many of you doing the same thing. Whereas in a startup, your role is your role and you're, you're probably the only one doing it. And so everything that you do, you have to be responsible for and you can have like a real impact on the company. Um, I know we spoke to one graduate, Frederico, and he actually came in on Monzo and he felt like he got loads of, training and progression um, and was able to and was able to grow with them sorry I'm trying to let people in um, and was able to grow with them felt like he was actually making a real real impact on them another one is take advice difficult barriers to entry I mean I was there when I left university having to apply to those all those applications they're daunting they're long they're time consuming um, and quite often you don't really even hear back. Whereas going for a startup, you kind of, you say goodbye to all of that, those difficult entries, all those different processes that you have to go through. And we actually at Tempo, I'll move on to that one. We actually can help connect you to these startups. I know that we had one candidate, Alec, he was looking to, he got a sales role at Uber Eats and he loved the transparency of applying to, to a startup instead of having to write like a cover letter and go through all of those, jump through so many different hoops. Another thing is support your side hustle. I mean, a lot of you might have like your own passions or your own things in life that you want to do. And you don't want to have to start a job that means you have to give those things up. But working for a startup, you actually get that flexibility to fit in other things in your life alongside what you want to do. Um, and actually by 2030, 50% of the UK population will have a side hustle. Just having that flexibility and it means you can really love your life as well at the same time as really loving your job. Oh yeah, and on that note, we actually had a candidate called Thomas that um, he he had he, what he was he wanted, wanted to be a freelance writer, um, and so over the last two years he's had five different roles at companies like Meal Pal, Al Rose Products, like a whole different range of opportunities where he could dip his toe in, gain experience, but then also could support the fact that he wanted to be a freelance writer, which meant that he could support his like support his dream. I think one of the really great things about working for a startup is you can harness your entrepreneurial spirit. It's a really flat culture in a startup. You sit next to the CEO, CEOs, you get to chat to them, you get to learn from them, which means you actually get to really feel part of the culture and part of the company. Like you feel like you're participating in the values. And if you want to go on and like start your own startup, it's a great way for to really learn how the business works and how to start your own company. 
so this is great. I mean, obviously, like the names like Uber and Monzo, um, all of those, like they, you know, you know, you know where to find them. You know how to apply to them. But there's a lot of them out there you don't even know exist, um, and they're still quite small, still in their early days. And so, if you actually want to find a startup job, sometimes it can be a bit difficult to know where to look, um, which is kind of where Tempo comes in. Um, we we're there to kind of help connect you to these startups and show you this whole world. Um, yeah, so we are, like I kind of mentioned to you earlier, but we're going to go into a bit more detail now. Um, we're a jobs marketplace. So we have all of these companies on our platform all in one spot. You would sign up, you create your profile, and then we then connect you to these some of these fastest growing, like most innovative companies out there just by creating your profile. Um, you can then access this whole world of job opportunities. Um, so one of the things that we actually found was, um, like I mentioned earlier, taking the alternative career route and how the Tempo platform can really help with that is one of the one of the candidates, graduates that we had last year that signed up, he was doing loads of like courses alongside his marketing degree that he was getting. Um, but he was also using Tempo and widening the kind of roles that he applied for. So it meant that he was he was he broadened his horizons and he was able to he was willing to dip his toe into different things. Um, which meant that he got a better chance. He felt like he had a better chance of getting his foot in the door. And by signing up to Tempo, because there's a whole range of different roles and opportunities and companies on there, you get to see the whole picture of like how broadening horizons will really help. I mean, like I mentioned, Alec, the, the candidate that I mentioned earlier that went to work for Uber Eats, like he was set out on wanting to get a marketing role, but um, he actually ended up landing a sales role at Uber Eats through Tempo instead. So he was willing to accept a role like sales that wasn't exactly what he was looking for, but he is now loving it and he's learned so many different skills and actually they're really applicable to marketing. So if he wants to move back across into that, then he can. So like I said earlier, like we have some of the companies that are in the, in the tech startup world, but these are some of the companies that we have on the Tempo platform. Um, these are just a few of the kind of the bigger names, but we also have like many, many more as well. Um, so you just want to sign up and you get to actually see them. So I'm not going to lead you through how the Tempo platform work, works itself and the best way to kind of go about applying. So all you need to do really is three simple steps, create a profile, browse jobs, get hired. So by creating your profile, this is essentially your CV. We use the information that you put into your profile um, to then match you to roles. Um, so say, for example, you put in that you're looking for like a really casual culture, but you're looking for a marketing role. We're not going to suddenly link you to I don't know, a product owner role at a really corporate company. What you put in, you will then get matched to and you'll see it in your jobs tab. And then you can then go in and say, like, apply to job and you can leave your own little note. So even though you've only got one profile, you can still tailor each little application with a little note to each employer as to why you think you'd be a great fit for them. Um, so the benefit of that is you're not having to do loads of different cover letters, loads of different CVs. It's just all there that employers can see. Then you can still kind of tailor why you want to work for that company. So yeah, like I said, browsing the jobs and you can get hired. What we've also brought in is a great new feature of like uploading your CV in seconds. So, I mean, in the past, you had to put in all your details in manually, like your work experience, your bio, all those like normal things that you'll be used to kind of putting into your CV. But we now mean that you can just upload your CV and then it auto completes into your profile. And then you can go back through and kind of like edit any things here and there, add things as and what you want. But it just makes that process so much quicker, so much easier and just makes kind of the job hunt a little bit more hassle free. So, I mean, like when the hiring manager said, you know, standing out from the crowd in your application, um, one of the added bonus features of the Tempo platform is the fact that you can actually record a profile video. So this will sit on your profile as long as, as well as your profile picture. And it actually just gives like, not only just to face the name, but the opportunity to say a little bit about yourself, what you're looking for, kind of the experience that you'd get, like, especially as graduates where you won't have had like tons of work experience. It's really great to be able to talk about the soft skills that you've learned and let your actual personality shine through in this video. And employers can actually see that. We started to realize at the moment that employers, a lot of a lot of companies, a lot of startups, they, they want cultural fit and they're looking for people that have strong soft skills. So maybe even soft skills like communication skills, interpersonal skills, all of those. You can really sell those in your video. Um, and when we actually did a bit of a deep dive into the data on our platform, it showed that um, the video gives you a competitive edge and you're actually seven times more likely to get hired with a video. So if you can really get, it's a daunting thing having to record a video of yourself. Like we've all, we've all been there, it's a bit much, but if you actually get used to doing that, once you've done one or two, it'll just become like second nature and that will really help you in your job hunt. 
it's kind of like having a look at Pempo, like kind of comparing us a bit to other companies out there, like other kind of when you're looking for jobs, like on average, it takes around 40 days from applying to a job to getting hired. Whereas through the Tempo platform, it can take on average, it's four days. So that massively reduces it, which means that you, it's less stress, it's less hassle. Um, so it'd be, it's just a lot easier. We've had more than 2,500 companies um, have actually hired people through Tempo. And we've even once had someone get hired in 27 minutes from sign up. So yeah, if you're ready to kickstart your career, then um, a great thing to do is to head over to our grab hub. I'm just gonna take you over across to it here. This is like specifically designed for you guys. Um, so here we have a whole bunch of resources on like kind of finding a job, like a bit more about Tempo over here and the companies that we work for. And like if you go over here, then you can instantly sign up and begin the kind of process. But we also have like events that we've done in the past. As you can see here, we had this event here. So we put this on our platforms. You can keep an eye on anything that we've got upcoming. Um, any like key takes, we did like a key takeaway. So where we got all of those tips from the hiring managers, we actually did a, we did a panel event a few months ago um, where we spoke to those hiring managers and candidates kind of asked them any questions and they gave them like tips like over a webinar. And so you can access the blog of the key takeaways here. And also there's like a video of the webinar in there for you to watch. And then we've got like a whole bunch of tips and ideas, um, like we just, like an ultimate guide on getting a job, like how to write the perfect cover letter, like any kind of tips that you need for kind of getting kickstarting that career and really sort of starting outside of university. We put it all here in one place for you guys to make it that much easier. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you've got your phones on you, you want like a quick access to it now, you can just scan this barcode here, um, or I'm going to put the link into the chat at the end, um, so you can have a little, you can click through to it afterwards, um, when we kind of like do questions, and you can have a look at it there as well. Um, yes, yeah, so that's kind of like rounding it all up. Um, I'd like to now just stop and then see if you guys have got any questions for me. Um, yeah. Yes, yeah, so do you guys have any questions for me? Like, I'm going to put them into the chat or you can even just ask them out loud. Do any of you have any questions? Do you, have, do you have opportunities for tech roles such as UX? Um, yeah, we will have, I mean, we kind of specialize mainly in um, operations, support, sales, marketing, um, but we do sometimes have roles pop up on our platform. So if you kind of say that you're looking for those that we can, and then you'll, you get matched that if they come along, but slightly less so, um, but they do pop up every now and again. Um, how many companies are affiliated with Tempo? We have over 2,500 companies on our platform. Uh, as an international student, would they sponsor tier two work visas? So we personally don't deal with the sponsoring, but we do have companies on our platform that would deal with that. That'd be very specific to the company and it's kind of up to them. How many people? are successful using Tempo. I don't actually know the exact um, figures of that, but I can look into that for you and get that if you would like. But we do have we do have like a high success rate in the sense that like on like I say on average it takes our candidates around four days to get hired. Is there a period through the year when your companies take on more applicants than others? Um, yeah, I mean, there definitely will be. I mean, obviously at the moment, companies are taking on less applicants than they would normally. Um, than they would normally. I mean, over the Christmas period, we probably get more kind of temp roles just because people are looking, companies are looking for people to help them with the pressure over the Christmas period. Um, and then kind of like as the summer comes along, they probably, they look for people coming to come, they look, look to start hiring like graduates and stuff. So it kind of like comes and goes, but it's pretty consistent throughout the year as well. Is there anything you would recommend writing in our bio? What we want future employers to know when we set up our profile? Yeah, I mean, I'd recommend just really 
putting as much information about yourself, like what you're looking for, um, kind of like any extra like extra skill, any extra like passions that you've got as well. That kind of shows there's a bit more to you than just like work experience, skills, etc. From experience, are recent graduates hired for permanent roles or temporary roles? I mean, it really it really depends on what you put on your profile. If you're looking for temporary roles, then we'll help you to get a temporary role. Uh, if you're looking for permanent roles, we'll help you to get a permanent role. Um, so it's dependent on you, to be honest, rather than the actual company. How does Tempo make its income from this service? <laughs> um, so it's free for you guys. You guys don't have to pay anything. Um, but for the company, we we charge like kind of a set amount when we get like permanent hires um, and then kind of like a percentage of the wage when it's temporary. But that's all through the company and it's a lot less than what normal agencies charge. But free for you guys. Yeah, like essentially like a, what normal um, recruitment agencies would do, um, but just like a flat fee um, and just a lot, lot, lot less. Do you guys have any more questions? I mean, if it helps for my own personal habit. So is Tempo different from other recruiters because it's an app? So we're not actually an app in the sense of like on your phone, we're, we're more kind of, a, we're still a website. Um, the reason why we're different from other recruiters um, is because we give you that option to record a video. Um, we use machine learning, I think, which is one of the big things, which means that everything that you put into your profile, you're not bombarded by loads of like irrelevant roles that you would if you're using like Indeed. Um, you can really tailor your CV to that. Uh, we have temporary and permanent. So like so all our roles are really flexible on here and we're really like startup focused as well. Um, and also like I said, the, the ability to record your video um, and also just taking away that difficult barrier to entry. And we've also got some really great branding. Are the jobs you post solely in the tech industry? Yeah, that is mainly where we, um, where we do focus, but we are getting, look, we are getting, I recently started working with, ASOS at one point um, and like more kind of like some of the retail sector and we started off mainly in tech but as we're kind of like growing so we are also, we're also expanding into different industries as well. No worries. I mean if it helps you guys like my kind of route into work was I started off with sales um, at startups and I actually got my job at Tempo by applying through the Tempo platform so I mean I I think it works <laughs> will there be less assessments for startup companies job locations compared to big companies yeah so I mean the, the typical route that they tend to our companies tend to use on here is they use video Q and A's um as kind of the interview process of like screening candidates so you'll get like a set amount of time to answer a question on like a recorded video that then sends to them um some of the bigger companies like monzo or bold they'll have you do like an assessment center but there's less there's not like a seven or eight step process like there is like applying to the big companies How long have you been working for, if you don't mind sharing? No, not at all. Um, so I left university four years ago. Uh, so I did sales for the first two and marketing for the next two. So I've been working for Tempo for two and a half years now. Um, I'd probably like four years, five years of working. What skills would you suggest to develop when looking for a job at tech startups? I mean, like I would really like, I think a lot, like I say, a lot of the companies nowadays are really looking for soft skills. So if you can, really like hone in on your soft skills, like get some great extra experience, extra skills. Um, like, I mean, it depends what kind of role that you're looking for, to be honest, like there's sales roles, there's for the tech roles, there's marketing roles. Like I work for a tech company, but I'm in marketing, right? So my skill set, um, it helps like attention to detail um, and any kind of like marketing experience that you can get. And also sales, sales also helped a lot with my marketing role as well. Hi, jobs seem to be very adamant on having SAS experience, even though I have experience of cloud-based software any advice? 
jobs and do very, I don't know. I don't know that much about um, that kind of software, but I think it, I mean, that really depends on the company and what they're looking for. Um, and on our platform, like the job description will specify if you do need that. Oh, I can tell. Okay, so you use like um, Salesforce. I think I think every company has different kind of like programs that they use. Like I've worked with Salesforce, but I know that Tempo uses something different. So I think it just depends on what they're looking for. So like Salesforce. Did that answer your question, by the way, Vicky? I'm not sure if it did. Uh, no, that's all good, Anna, from the Career Service. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, good. Sorry, I was supposed to be here earlier and welcome you in and join you. you, know what, if you yeah, try again. I'll, I'll see if I can if I understand what your question's asking. Does anyone have any other questions? I mean, you've got questions on how to use the, how to, on it, like how you can best stand out on Tempo. Um, I'm just gonna post here as well, by the way, this is our graduate hub. Oh, that's just sent to Louise. Um, this here's our graduate hub, by the way. So if you wanted to go check it out and like where you can like directly go through and sign up to the platform as well. Cover letters for tech companies. Um, I mean, a cover letter, like I say, it's something that you should really tail to the company. So I can't, I can't give you a cover letter specifically for tech in general, because every company is going to be different. And you should really make sure that you tailor that cover letter to that specific company. So like read the job description, read what it is that means that you think that the company, the culture of the company, what they're looking for and what you can bring to that um, is kind of the advice I'd give to that. Don't make it generic, make it very company specific. Yes, com I cover letters do get read. Um, I mean, it's a great way for companies to dive a little bit into someone rather than just looking at their CV with like just a list of qualifications and skills. So I really would put an effort into a cover letter. On our graduate hub, there's actually a blog that I have done that goes into detail on how you can write a good cover letter. If that helps, Vicky. Yeah, I mean, um, I think Vicky just said like she's heard like, volumes of people aren't reading them, but I'd always go in assuming that they would um, and, it's, and just put it as, make it as good as you can. Do we have any more? I could just heard that because of volumes, people aren't reading them, but I wouldn't not do anything. Is that, is that, for, no, I mean, I think it depends on the company. I think cover letters um, for startups in general are quite rare. Um, that tends to be a bit more of a corporate, bigger company approach to things. So the cover letters, a lot of our startups don't ask for cover letters at all. I mean, you just put your little application note on our profile, on our profile when you're applying for a company as to why you're interested in them. But I wouldn't say many of our companies ask for cover letters um but in all stages of your life it really depends on what company you're applying for as whether they ask one so i wouldn't think it was just 16 to 24. kick oh kickstart sorry <laughs> i thought that was cover letters uh kickstart is that for 16 to 24 only uh or can you still apply as a new personally how old are you vicky 
I, I th I th I'm pretty sure it's just for 16 to 24. No worries. I'm going to post the grad hub here just in case it gets lost above as well. Um, but oh, I always keep sending privately. Can I um, help anyone with anything else? Yeah, they are majority entry level um, on Tempo. Some people, so like if you're looking for a particular pay bracket that's really, really high, or you've got like you're very senior, then Tempo will be less well suited to you. Um, we do kind of like focus more on kind of like the younger, the kind of like entry level roles. Even so if you're looking to change your career, for example, Tempo will be great if you're looking to like go in and start something new or if you're just starting out your career as well. No worries at all, Jessica. Can I help anyone else with any other questions, by the way? Do you hear back either way once you have expressed interest in a role? Yes, you will. You will get, um, you'll get told if you've been, if you are been accepted or rejected from a role on Tempo. We're big on candidate feedback and candidate experience. <laughs> how quickly do candidates often hear back i mean it really depends on the um, company but like i say getting hired within on an average of four days um you should hear back within like a couple of days or like within a week really No worries, Louise. I'm in my final year. So obviously looking for a role once my degree in 2021. Are the roles always immediate start or can I start applying now? So one of the things on our platform is you do say when you're available from. So if you're available to start immediately, then you put immediately. Um, if you're not, then you'd say when you're available from. Um, so I just make that clear, Jessica, in when you're like signing up, that is when you're going to be available. Um, and then maybe when you're then when you when you do then graduate, go back in and just put immediate to start when the minute that you are ready to start looking for a job. We would send be quiet for new roles postings. Um, yeah, I think it does drop off a little bit. Um, like I say, like over to Christmas time, there are often like a lot of like temp roles that people are looking for. We also we also don't really know right now when it comes to coronavirus uh, exactly what it's going to be like either. Do Tempo have exclusivity with some companies for recruitment? No, I don't think so. I don't think we have an exclusive. No, I don't think so. I know some companies that hire mainly for us. What would be the benefit to apply via Tempo? Um, as in via us rather than via like an other recruitment agency? Or do you mean if not through Otter or LinkedIn. I mean, I think with um, Tempo, well, our platform example, I we actually give the ability, like you say, to record a video, which will help you stand out when talking to them, when employers come through and um, let your personality shine through. Um, and then also, again, it's that machine learning that we use. 
So we actually match what you put in your profile to the roles. Um, and you can kind of like, you can see all the jobs listed all there. And then everything happens through the platform. So the thing is we're an end-to-end -end hiring platform. So the minute that you sign up, it all takes place on the platform. Um, so you don't have to like go to load, all loads of different places, like right through to actually getting the job. So it makes it that much easier and hassle-free. Um, and then we have a great team behind the scenes as well to help with anything that you need along the way. Just wary if companies are using multiple platforms. Yeah, I mean, of course, but that's going to be the case with um, any company that's looking for a job um, and looking for someone to fill the role. They, get some, they often do use different ways. But the thing with us is we connect you to that company and we actually let you know of the opportunity. Um, and like I say, it all takes place on the platform. So a lot of companies prefer to use us um, rather than other agencies because we are just that much cheaper. Um, and, and again, like everything takes place there. So it's just hassle free for them. Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's one of those things, again, like one of the best things to do is like be proactive, like go on there, keep an eye on the jobs that are popping up um, and show interest in roles that you think will be great for you, like actively go out and do it. Employers themselves will also match with you, but also actively doing it yourself is important. Can I help anyone with any other questions or like go through anything else I spoke about? Um, the platform, maybe even other advice. Should the profile should be a LinkedIn style photo and does the same apply to the video? I mean, the picture should have the same idea. So it should be something like perfectly professional. So not just like you on a night out. Um, so make it something that you're happy to have companies look at. Um, I mean, it's the same with like any kind of like applying for a job. You want to make sure you look professional in the photo. Um, it does the same apply to the video. In what sense, in the sense of it being professional? I mean, yeah, you should, you should make it clear. You should make it concise. Um, talk about like, don't just like waffle on, talk about exactly what it is that you can bring to the table. Um, and yeah, just make it, I mean, obviously be yourself in the video, but also make sure it is professional at the same time. We have, again, there is um, on our grad hub, there's a bunch of um, stuff on like how you can maximize your tempo profile, um, how you can make your video look great, links to our YouTube channel, um, which shows you how to record a video. So we've got all the kind of resources there if that, if that helps you. Does Tempo offer a profile review? What do you mean by profile review? As in we tell you what you can do better for, with it. Exactly, okay, perfect. I mean, yeah, if you wanted to email one of our customer success team or call up on one of our customer success team, they'd be more than help, happy to have a look at your profile and tell them where you can go better. No worries. Oh yeah, of course. Also like LinkedIn, right? It's also about building networks and connections and posting articles. It's got all different kind of functions. And also when you're looking for the jobs, the, the process is just slightly less transparent is as exactly what the company wants. Whereas companies on our profile, you can see exactly what it is that they're looking for and exactly what you're going to be in for working with them. Um, so like we really want to give like total transparency and the control is totally in your hands as well. <laughs> That's good to hear. <laughs> Do you have any advice on building LinkedIn connections? I mean, think about the industry that you want to go into. Um, so don't just like have like a huge big wide range. Like really think if you want to go into a specific in industry, like like make connections with people in that industry, post articles and stuff in that industry, post interesting articles that people will like connect with. 
um, and comment on, like comment on other people's stuff. And like a bit, like I said, with that girl that reached out to a CCO of CapDesk, which is looking for advice, like even just like chatting someone for advice, like that just builds a connection with someone. So you're not even, you're not actively asking for a job, but you're creating that connection. I don't have friends. I don't have friends or ex-colleagues in my network. Think about what value they would bring to your network. Yeah, yeah, I agree with Vicky. So it's not just about connecting, having friends there. It's about what, how you can build your network that's valuable to you. Just, if you've got any questions, honestly, just fire away as well. Yeah, like Vicky's saying, you know, keep up to date with what's happening, keep up to date with the news, make yourself really present um, on your LinkedIn profile, with your LinkedIn profile. Be active. How do I best reach out to a customer success team for profile review? Um, I'd call, if you go on our Tempo website, there is, if you want, actually, do you know what, Vicky? Sorry, I'm just going to give you mine. Here's my email address. If you want to just email me and then I can forward you on to our customer success team. No worries at all. Anyone else as well, I put my email in there. So if you wanted to ask any questions or want any kind of help, just you can drop me an email after this and I can either answer or put you in touch with the right person. Oh yeah, yeah, we've got a, um, a tempo hotline going on at the moment, um, which means that you can book in an appointment. Um, if you're lucky enough, you get to chat to me, um, but basically you can just ask any questions that you want on the job market, the job hunt, us, career advice, it's really up to you. We're just there to basically chat and help you make you feel better about the current situation. If anyone wants to do that as well. Yeah, Tempo Hotline. I'll put that, I'm gonna do, I'll do a follow-up email after this as well. So I'll put that in at the bottom. If there's anything else as well that from the presentation that you wanted me to go into a bit more detail of, I can also, I'm also happy to do that as well. Um, if you're looking for like people that have experienced Tempo, we've got like a bunch of candidate spotlights and case studies as well um, on that grad hub that you can have a read of that just basically leads through how other people um, have their experience through Tempo. And also we did one with a girl recently that got hired during the pandemic, kind of her whole experience, how she approached the hiring process um, how she approached hiring through us, just any kind of advice like that. We've all got there on that grad hub as well to help you guys. Will that be sent out? I missed it. First 20 minutes. Will what be sent out the, this webinar or an email? presentation you just mentioned um yeah i will send i'll just send up like a basically follow-up of like tips um of what i've done like like key takeaways um and i'll have a watch of this of this recording as well and send it over if you'd like vicky yeah no worries happy to send that over to you
<laughs> no worries at all. We're here to chat to anyone. It's been it's been good to chat to you and help if I can. No worries at all, Mariam. Um, I wonder if I can help anyone ask other questions. Yeah, I mean, I, I hope that's been helpful to you guys. Um, obviously, like I say, it's just a, it's just a, such an unprecedented time right now, so uncertain, but things are gonna start opening up. Things are gonna start getting better when it comes to like hiring, hiring freezers being unfrozen, um, especially now we found this vaccine. So things are just gonna start getting a bit better, but it's just all about kind of like remaining positive and just like keep actively doing your best to look for the jobs, like be on the job hunt, make sure you stand out from the crowd, like really hone in on those applications make them really specific to the company um and yeah like the tempo platform if you're looking to go into like so we can help you every step of the way as well um we've got like a great team that want to help you guys find jobs um any kind of advice as well um we can help connect you to those companies that are still hiring 